Now, whenever I put a question like this in an exam, I get so excited um, because I get to put seven marks next to this question. And um, I'm so excited because it's such, it's free marks for my students. And by the time they get to it, they are horrified by seeing this incredibly intimidating problem and it's worth seven marks. And they think about themselves, oh no, I'm losing seven marks. Please don't think like that. This is so, so simple. What we need is our cast diagram. We have to simplify this and, and it just looks intimidating because there's a lot of things, but it really isn't. Okay, now cast diagram. Okay. There we go. And this is 360. This is plus, minus, plus, mi minus side, the positive side, the negative positive, negative, okay, there we go, so um, our negative angles, 90 degrees, negative, negative 180 degrees, negative 270 degrees, and negative 360 degrees, but this is also zero, okay, so there we go, now all we need to do is for each one, we just need to decide, are they positive or are they negative, let's see, N cos of negative 90 degrees minus theta. Okay, so negative 90, there we go. Um, sorry, I forgot to mention, I'm doing pas, cas, and das. Okay, okay posi make everything positive, acute, and simple. So negative 90, there's negative 90 degrees, and I'm on the negative side, which means I'm on this side, where tan is positive. So cos must be negative, but also the angle that I am making is with the y-axis. I don't want to be using y-axis angles. I want to be using x-axis angles, and to change it, I need to change that into its co-ratio, which is sine. So cos is negative, and the um, negative 90 says I should use sine of theta. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one, sine of negative 360. Negative 360 is all the way there. Okay, all the way there. And plus is in the first quadrant where sine would be positive. And that's therefore just sine of theta. Next one, cos of 180, negative 180 plus. So negative 180, um, sorry, I'm going the wrong direction. Negative 180 is this plus uh, is again in the third quadrant. So I'm again in the third quadrant and we know cos is negative there. My angle is still made with the x-axis so I keep it as cos. Finally, and for the numerator we have tan of 360 minus. So 360 minus is 360 all the way there. Minus means it's back. I'm in the fourth quadrant where tan would be negative tan of theta. Okay, the next, uh, the denominator there, we just have a cos of theta to start with. Then we have tan of negative, of 180 plus, uh, minus. So 180, there's 180, minus goes back a bit. Second quadrant where sine is positive, and therefore tan is negative. So that becomes negative tan of theta. Okay, then we have sine of negative theta. Okay, so that's zero minus, so that's in the the fourth quadrant where cos is positive, so sine is negative. Okay, and then for the last term, 180 plus means I go all the way to 180, that's there, plus is a little bit further, that's in the third quadrant where tan is positive, so there we have tan of theta. Now we can just go and count the negatives and an odd number of negatives will mean it's negative even number would mean it's even so one two uh, sorry it mean it's positive so negative times a negative is positive negative positive negative okay so I get negative positive negative positive negative one two three four five an odd number means this expression will be negative so put the negative in front now let's cancel factors that can be cancelled that tan that sign can cancel that sign there's nothing to cancel with that sign that cos can cancel that cos that tan can cancel that tan and finally we have left sine theta over tan of theta 
and you notice how I what I what I did now was algebraic simplification I've been doing dust okay by cancelling factors multiplying negatives things like that and and that just brought me to a simpler expression that I now change everything into cos and sine and simplify it to a single trig ratio now here I can simplify this as sine of theta over tan can be sine of theta over cos of theta and what I said in the previous video um, th let's just make this as sine theta over 1 because I've got a fraction over a fraction in the previous video I just said that I can cancel numerators with numerators numerator in the numerator with numerator in the denominator if they are the same okay but that's one way of doing it alternative is just tip and time so I've got negative sine of theta over 1 times and when I tip it now I get cos of a th over sine and this this method seems to be a little bit more appropriate because it simplifies better okay so those two divide into each other so that I have left negative cos of theta isn't that beautiful